I'm a composer, a performer, performance maker, musician. Uh, my background is in composition, so that's my language in a way. And um, from composition, I take that role into the onto the stage, thinking about bodies on the stage. If I deliver the material, what do I want to do? So I like to tell stories or um, share personal experiences. And so there's a kind of general subject around my work, which is based on psychology, disability, and uh, certain specific emotional subjects. And I try to, they stem from, from something that may have happened to me or something I've witnessed, but then I try to look at how that, uh, how those emotions related to that experience are relevant for society. So in what way can I communicate with the, with the audience and with maybe one person uh, in, in that audience who might feel that something similar has happened to them or a certain experience or emotion um, might be relatable for them. A lot of observe, I, I observe a lot about what's going on and how people are. Um, I try really hard to, to try to let go of stigma, to allow uh, certain emotions to just be there, to be present on stage, um, to say that they are, that they exist. And it's not always that I stand up and, you know, behave sad in order to, in order to convey sadness, but rather what, what are the symptoms of sadness that can occur? You know, for example, insecurity is something that I feel that we often try to cover up. And if, if we could say, I'm, I feel insecure, I think that that would bring much more, uh, like it, we would be capable of a lot more. I think we compensate a lot as a result of trying to cover up insecurity. So the ways that I can relate to that emotion when it comes to making my work, for example, uh, a few years ago, um, I started with this through the way of thinking about how uh, to convey insecurity on stage. So I gave concentration tests to musicians and tried to use them to trigger disorientation and hesitation and confusion. And gradually one person is left alone on stage, which reveals their vulnerability. And uh, you recognize also that through acknowledging that somebody else might be feeling insecure, we actually all know what that's like. I believe we all feel insecure. Um, and so we find ways to, to empathize with that person. And, and, this, and this is a way of allowing that state to be present. The concept behind this work that I'm composing for on time is based on the subject of identity. I'm using the bagpipes, the Highland bagpipes for this piece, which, you know, you see them and you think Scotland. And uh, so it's not necessary for me to stand in a kilt and play Scotland the Brave, but rather how can I take this instrument out of context and allow it to still have all of those representations, but it's present. And the aim is actually to work with Onsime and to see how they could be inspired by this instrument. So if they were to try to be the bagpipes. Uh, I hope that the aim, like I hope that the result of the piece doesn't mean that everything has to sound like the bagpipes, but that through for example, the trombone or of the other instruments, taking on the characteristics of the bagpipes, actually it highlights how much that instrument is still that instrument. I think that's the beauty of it, is that you can allow something to be there and have all of its rep representations, but at the same time, um, it's the it's, it's, it can step into another context. I, I was introduced to Onsime through Musica Festival. The, the artistic director from the festival, uh, I, I, um, well, I presented one of my works there and then I was talking to him and uh, we felt that Onsime would be a good combination for my artistic approach because of my hybrid um, <clears throat> way of composing between classical contemporary music, but also improvisation and electronic rock. And because this combination of ensemble, this ensemble is mixed with 
um, improvisers, jazz musicians, classical musicians, and they kind of have a mentality like a band. And it helps me to understand how much do I leave open and how much do I need to really compose, which for me is really exciting because it means that there's a dialogue and it's a really a true collaboration. And um, I've, I'm actually really, I'm not only composing for the instruments, but I'm composing for the musicians that play those instruments. Um, art, to me, I think that it's very personal. I think that everybody has their own vision of what art is. And for me, it's, it's an opportunity to communicate. I have a platform that enables me to communicate and how can I connect to the audience. And I really want to connect. I want to connect to a broad audience. I want to see in what ways we can relate to one another. Also, I feel that art can take us to a place that goes outside of the everyday. So I try to introduce subjects related to the everyday, but then I try to show a perspective on that everyday subject that is perhaps a bit weird <laughs> or a bit odd or a bit different. And so that somebody can say, huh, I have felt like that. I know what that feels like, but I haven't looked at it from this way. So I feel that when we come into the performance space, the concert hall, whatever, it should, it, there, it, it, I would like it. And, and it's not that I say I managed to achieve this, but I try to see how can I take somebody to another place outside of the average uh, world.